Well, we had to do that the hard way, didn't we? Joe Linton, Sean Langstaff, not enough, but St Maxman had other ideas. It's just finished in my quick thoughts at the Kassam Stadium tonight in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Oxford United of League 1 2, Newcastle United 3, and I have to say, we've done that the hard way. Fair play to Oxford United tonight, you know, for giving them a really good game, not just at St James's Park, but tonight at their own ground. You know, they were 2 0 down at one point. And uh, they really did make us sweat at times and potentially they could have caused a big upset, especially in extra time. They could have went to a penalty shootout and uh, St. Maximin bailed them out yet again. And going into the match, you know, we're 2-0 up in the first half. The first half an hour, we're cruising. Sean Longstaff gets what off to the perfect start, putting the ball into the top right-hand corner, keep absolutely no chance. And then we're double the lead through Joe Linton. He gets put through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He finishes it, but unfortunately for him, he's now out with an injury. And we're missing all of our strikers. So we're hoping that Mudu, Andy Carroll, Gale, they're all back for the next game against Arsenal. There was a bit of a um, coming together in terms of the uh, goal. There was a foul, but the Oxford players were protesting and the, the referee just gave play on. And, you know, Joe Linton scores his second goal in the FA Cup. And uh, you're thinking at this point, we should be um, going on to score the third and the fourth. We should really have been three or four and a little bit uh, half time. You know, Oxford had a big chance as well where they could have pulled one back. And the warning signs were there, second half. We didn't really kick on. I thought Oxford were the better side. They won a free kick in the 84th minute. They put it into the top right corner. And uh, to Carl Dollar did get a touch, but absolutely no chance. And uh, six minutes plus stoppage time for Oxford to get back into the game. I'm thinking to myself, lads, just hold on. He took Almiron off and uh, you're thinking that was a bad move. And he, Steve Bruce thought the game was won. The game is never won, especially at these grounds. And uh, fair play to Oxford. You know, there was four minutes of stoppage time. And with the last minute to go... Um, the score an absolute worldie from outside the box and uh, it's 2-2, two -two, they deserve it and uh, really we're, we're cast of our own downfall really given that we should have had the game wrapped up in the first 45 minutes and we should have went more than 2-0 up it's never enough and uh, fair play to Oxford you know for getting back into the game and giving them a game extra time of the first period I thought it was all Oxford I thought they had the better chances they could really have went 3-2 up but St Maximin in the second half uh, it was about the 125th minute he, he wins the ball on the left hand side he cuts in a bit of a solo run, beats a few defenders and he rifles it into the uh, back of the net and the keeper has absolutely no chance. I'm absolutely jumping out of my seat. We're free to up and uh, we potentially um, save ourselves from an upset, an embarrassment defeat and uh, potentially a penalty shootout, something we can't actually do. And St. Maxman, again, one of the best players at the football club, gets with fruit with the fifth round of the FA Cup for the first time in, what is it, 14 years? And like I say, credit Oxford, you know, they, they've given us a game tonight and they're, They'll be kicking themselves and being a League One side as well, you know, they've they've gave everything they could possibly have given, given their facilities, given what they've got in front of them and given what they've probably got on the bench and uh, for them to have managed to get the game back to 2-2 against the Premier League side, they would have been thinking to themselves the game's back on, but you know what, that credit to that football club, no wonder they're in the playoffs. I really do hope if, if there is any Oxford fans watching this, you get into the, uh, well, you keep your playoff spot or you go up automatically because I tell you what there, you've got a championship side uh, that would be good enough in that league uh, above next season. So fair play to Carl Robinson, fair play to the Oxford players, and fair play to Steve Bruce, and fair play to the lads, you know, for sticking in there and not giving up because, you know, going 2 2, going at an extra time, it's easy just to give up, and the lads just kept pushing, and uh, we got our deserved winner, I would say, at the end. So it's finished at the Kassam Stadium in the quick thoughts. Oxford United of League 1 2, Newcastle United 3. We've done it the hard way. I'll be back with me full. Uh, review tomorrow. Stay tuned, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and yeah, good night, Jody. Safe journey back, and commiserations to Oxford as well. And if you're new, please do the following subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and put your comments down below. Get in there. How are the lads?